sink in. Step out to a comfortable distance. Start by gathering the chi, breathing in, breathing out and sink. Breathing in. As you exhale, relaxing. Consciously slowing the breath. Consciously relaxing, bringing your hands onto the Dantian, closing your eyes, just letting yourself settle for a moment, bringing yourself to the here and now, putting everything else aside, nothing else matters right now. Feeling the floor beneath the balls of your feet. Noticing the strength in your legs. Your spine is lengthened. Shoulders are relaxed, neck is relaxed. And all those little muscles in your face they can relax too. Muscles around the eyes and the jaw, just let them soften. Now bringing your attention to the breath. Letting your belly really relax so that you feel the movement of your breath. As you breathe in, the belly expands. As you breathe out, the belly sinks in again. Really taking your breath right to the bottom of the lungs. Now opening your eyes, lifting the hands, Press, breathing in, out, letting the belly expand as you inhale, letting it sink in again as you exhale. Changing the hands, pressing forwards, looking through the tiger's mouth, turn. As you return to the front, breathing in, continue turning, breathing out. In. And out. Lifting, breathing in, lowering, breathing out, following your hands, gently turning. Extend and lower. Stepping in. Have a little shake. Making sure you've got room to swing your arms. 
sinking once more, comfortable horse riding stance, turning, starting gently, gradually increasing your range, strong legs. Now changing that open palm to a soft fist, gently tapping. Let's pick a different spot each time, tapping through the upper arm and around the back. And relaxing the palms again, coming to rest, stepping in, Stepping out of an up shoulder width thereabouts. Do a couple of stretches based on the wild goose qigong. And the first one involves bending straight down. Make sure you activate your core muscles, soft knees, only bend as far as suits your body. Lifting. Little sink. Stretching up. Straight forwards, palms up, past the dantian as if to replenish the energy, feed it through the legs, up again, down the right, once more down the centre. Let's do that once more, breathing in and out, in, out, in, out. Out, in, out, in, and out. Now stepping forward, left foot, raising and lowering the palms, press. Keeping your weight forward over the front leg. Pushing off with that back foot, lifting the heel. Press. Opening a little as you lift. Stepping back to swap sides. Breathing in. Out, stepping back once more. Now forward again, and we are going to start fluttering. Wild goose flutter, like a big figure eight. With this weight shift, smoothly forward, smoothly back. Ready to swap sides. Keep the fluttering going up and out, up and out. There's the wild goose flying all around searching for food. Stepping back, keep your fluttering going. Wild goose drinks at the water hole. Empty stance, only sink as far as is comfortable for you.
your fluttering muscles might be getting a little tired by now. Just keep going for a wee bit longer. Once more to each side. Now fluttering back to the Dantian, vibrate. And pause and again do that four times. All right, stepping in. Out once more, a general limbering, rolling the shoulders. Notice your fingertips can draw circles along the outside of your thighs. Rolling backwards now. And the whole body is involved in this movement. We're not isolating. Circling the pelvis. Round the other way. And now the hip and knee drawing a circle. Doesn't matter how big. Grab the ground with the foot that's you're standing on. Give your hands a bit of a rub, get some warmth in them, give your knees a bit of love. Both sides. empty stance. Hands wherever they're comfortable, behind your back, hips, whatever works. A couple of little experimental lifts. Turn on all of your core muscles. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. Next one, hold. Circle your ankle. Round the other way, lower, quick breather, up once more, now draw a bigger circle. So if you're drawing a circle with the foot, hand on your knee can help guide it, round the other way. This is really challenging your balance quite a lot. Swapping. And turning out your supporting leg to whatever angle suits you. A few little lifts. Core muscles are on. You are still breathing. And next one, holding. Circling your ankle. Round the other way. Lower, quick breather, lifting once more, drawing the circle, round the other way. Okay, little shake, little sink and gently, gently stretch back, squat gentle stretch just listening to your body don't push too far gentle really gentle circles notice that goes all the way down to the balls of your feet round the other way okay a little bit of weight transfer sinking step on the square it's really a rectangle. Main thing is we do not want to step straight in front of the foot, slightly wide stance. Shift weight forwards. Bend the back knee. Good. 
great training this exercise smoothly transferring weight looks so simple let's bring some hands in push And with the breath, breathe out as you push in, out. Stepping back, swapping legs. That wide stance, shift your weight forwards. Be mindful of your posture. Noticing that your shoulders are directly above your hips. They're not forward of your hips. Really feel that strength in your legs. Bringing the arms in. Push. Breathing in. Out, in, out. And stepping back, easing up. One more leg exercise, forward back side to each side. Starting with the left foot forwards, stepping on the square, shifting your weight. Sit back, bring your foot in, core muscles are working. Shift your weight back, straighten up the right foot. Turn the hips, step on the square, which is really diagonally backwards now. Square up your back foot. Sit back. Easing up. Other side now, step the right foot forwards. Sitting back, foot under the body. Straightening up the foot, turn the hips, step on the square, diagonally back, shift weight, push the heel, tuck the foot in, and easing up. We've pretty much woken up all the major joints of the body, so let's just bring it all together, stepping out. Embracing the earth and now wobble. Get everything wobbling. Legs back and forward, torso, arms. Now stopping your legs, hands in and out, up and down. And back to the fluttering, walking your legs in about a foot apart, a few good shakes, lift the heels and drop a couple of times, throw away any remaining tension. All right, and now enjoy the rest of your practice. <laughs>